This is Dwayne Carter, otherwise known as Lil Wayne. He's a platinum-selling American rapper and songwriter. This is his hometown, New Orleans, Louisiana. And this is his story. Michael Carter Jr., born September 27, 1982 in New Orleans, Louisiana, better known as Lil Wayne, is a platinum-selling American rapper and songwriter. He is known as the president of the New Orleans-based label Cash Money Records and the CEO of Young Money Entertainment. Dwayne Michael Carter Jr. grew up as an only child. He now has a younger brother. In the poverty-stricken and crime-ridden Holly Grove neighborhood of New Orleans' 17th Ward, at the age of 16, his stepfather, Reginald Rabbit Carter, died. Holly Grove is a neighborhood of New Orleans, Louisiana. Holly Grove is located in the 17th Ward of New Orleans, uptown just down from the Jefferson Parish line, back away from the Mississippi River, from the Carrollton neighborhood. Part of Claiborne Avenue is its primary thoroughfare. This low, flood-prone area within the city limits was little developed until the 1920s, when they improved drainage. However, problems with inadequate drainage remained, despite additional improvement projects in the 1960s. Holly Grove grew into a predominantly African-American neighborhood of single and double house homes, a slight majority were owner-occupied, and small neighborhood businesses. Holly Grove, along with most of the city, flooded in the catastrophic failure of the federal levee system during Hurricane Katrina in 2005. The Holly Grove neighborhood has produced many notable musical artists, including R&B singer Johnny Adams, Terrell DeClue, Galactic, and rappers such as Lil Wayne, Mac Main, Fiend, and Skip. I like Lil Wayne's music because he can get the crowd hype at any time. It's the music that he makes is club music, you know, so if it makes you feel good, then hey, it's always going to be a hit. I mean, other artists are going to him, asking him to be on their songs. Lil Wayne often references Holly Grove in his music. In the lyrics of his song, La La La, he says, I thank you, New Orleans. Thank you, Holly Grove. That's been my hood since the snotty nose. In Fly In and from his album, The Cutter 2, he says, And my hood love me, and they tell me bring it home. That's why I holler Holly Grove on each and every song. You know, no, he says, I'm from the hood, so I rep him where I can't take him, Holly Grove. Holly Grove was his last statement. In Zoo, he says, Now bring it back to Holly Grove, yeah, Holly Grove. Around Park had work by the sliding boards. And tell them niggas he was hustling till hell froze. Holly Grove ain't no motherfucking Melrose. Hollywood ain't no motherfucking Holly Grove. They could find your ass Monday and your Friday clothes. Or they could find you parked dead on Father's Day. Holly Grove, USA, where Maine and Carter stay. In his music, Lil Wayne has used Holly Grove Gator to describe himself. Real talk, I'm ducking bombs from a drug wall. No religion, but the cop pray that I'm a drug lord. Father, forgive them, for they know not who they pushing, Lord. Father, forgive me if I have to send them to your Lord. I'm just trying to dodge the shots they sent to the guard. They riding up highway to Heaven Boulevard. New Orleans in American English. In French, La Nouvelle Orleans. is a major United States port city and the largest city in Louisiana. New Orleans is located in southeastern Louisiana, along the Mississippi River. The city is bordered by Lake Pontchartrain to the north and the Gulf of Mexico to the east, and is coextensive with Orleans Parish. It is named after Philippe II, Duke of Orleans, Regent of France, and is one of the oldest cities in the United States. New Orleans is known for its multicultural heritage as well as its music and cuisine, and is considered the birthplace of jazz. Its status as a world-famous tourist destination is due in part to its architecture, its music, its cuisine, its annual Mardi Gras, and other celebrations and festivals. The city is often referred to as the most unique city in America. The Greater New Orleans population was approximately 1.4 million people prior to the flooding caused by Hurricane Katrina in 2005. 
The metro area has since rebounded to 1.2 million according to the Census Bureau. The Greater New Orleans area is still Louisiana's largest urban center. The 17th Ward is one of the 17 wards of New Orleans, a section of the city of New Orleans, Louisiana. The ward stretches from the Mississippi River to Lake Pontchartrain. It is the furthest upriver ward of the city. The upper western boundary is Jefferson Parish, Louisiana. The lower boundary extends from the riverfront along Carrollton Avenue, across which is the 16th Ward, to the intersection of I-10. This was formerly the route of the New Basin Canal, the original ward boundary. Across I-10 here is the 3rd Ward. Continuing back along the former canal route, the boundary north of I-10 becomes Pontchartrain Boulevard, across which is the 4th Ward and north to the lakefront. The area closer to the riverfront was originally the upper half of the town of Carrollton, Louisiana, annexed to New Orleans in the 1870s. The boundary between the ward and Jefferson Parish from Metairie Ridge back is the 17th Street Canal. In 2005, Hurricane Katrina struck the city, and a disastrous break in the canal levee flooded much of it. Going roughly from the river to the lake, the 17th Ward includes the Carrollton Riverbend area, Upper or West Carrollton with the noted Oak Street commercial area, the Leonidas neighborhood, Palmer Park at Carrollton and Claiborne, Holly Grove and Dixon neighborhoods, known for producing a number of rap music artists such as Lil Wayne and Mac Main, Longview House and Gardens, Metairie Cemetery, Lakewood neighborhood, the West End neighborhood, West End Park, long famous for the collection of seafood restaurant, Orleans Marina and the Municipal Yacht Harbor. Wayne's first contact with hip-hop was listening to local cash money record artists like Pimp Daddy and UNLV, whom he would credit as his earliest influences. Wayne began rapping at block parties as a child, and his performance at one of them caught the ear of Little Sim, a cash money rapper also from the neighborhood who soon after the show gave him his phone number. Cash Money Records is an American hip-hop record label. Its name is derived from a fictional gang in the 1991 film New Jack City. The label's first artist, Kilo G, released The Sleepwalker in 1992. Over the next four years, Cash Money played host to a number of local releases by artists such as Pimp Daddy, UNLV, Ms. T, Mr. Ivan, Little Sim, Big Man, and BG, among others, selling hundreds of thousands of albums without ever releasing a music video or having a Billboard hit. Cash Money's big break came in 1997, when the label's most popular artists, the Hot Boys, and Juvenile in particular, caught the attention of Universal Records executives. Juvenile's Cash Money release, Soldier Rags, sold 200,000 copies independently. In 1998, co-CEOs Ronald Slim Williams and Brian Baby Williams signed a $30 million pressing and distribution contract with the Universal Records, entitling the label to 85% of its royalties, 50% of its publishing revenues, and ownership of all masters. Between 1998 and 2001, Cash Money saw phenomenal success. The label churned out 18 top five Billboard singles and 11 platinum and multi-platinum albums, almost all of which were supervised by in-house producer Manny Fresh. Controversy arose when two of the hot boys left the label, claiming financial mismanagement by co-CEO and artist Brian Baby Williams. The first artist to leave was BG, who claimed he had never received a royalty check for any album released before 2003 an amount that would exceed $3 million. The second to leave was Juvenile, who claimed he had only received half of the tour money he'd accumulated over four years, and did not receive proper payment for his quadruple platinum album, 400 Degrees. The artist filed three simultaneous lawsuits, asking for more than $5 million in damages. The lawsuits were dismissed, however, for lack of evidence. The departure of Cash Money's two superstars did not seem to affect the performance of the hip-hop giant. Between 2001 and 2003, the label sold 7 million albums, and the song Still Fly by the Big Timers 
Baby Williams and Manny Fresh, was nominated for two Grammy Awards. In April 2003, Juvenile, who had left because of financial disputes, returned to the label for a reported $4 million deal. And in return, he signed over the rights to Juve the Great, an album which would go on to sell over 3 million copies. Birdman signed deals with Lugs, Sean John, Jacob the Jeweler, and Air Watch Company USA, among others. Former Hot Boy member Lil Wayne was named president of Cash Money Records and CEO of Young Money Entertainment, giving the rapper full creative control over all releases under the two labels. Lil Wayne went on an autograph signing session with Lil Sim, and there met Cash Money Records owners Brian Baby Williams and Ronald Slim Williams. Your girl could get it for acting like a man. Them boys in Pakistan ain't packing like your man. I back was hanging your man on command in front of those you cool with. They on fan. I'm on hot. I adjust in different climates. Stuck in the animal keeper running with my primates. You ain't did it till you done it like in five states. Wheezy hustle, no blubber. I put on weight. And His freestyling abilities impressed the Williams brothers, but they didn't sign him yet. 11-year-old Wayne started to record freestyles on Baby's answer machine and haunted cash money offices nearly every day. When Baby saw so much engagement in the young rapper, he soon signed him. Wayne dropped out of school at the age of 13 to pursue his rap career. Wayne later was hooked up with another newcomer, Little Doggy, who would later become famous as BG, to form the BGs. The group released their first and only album, True Story, in 1995. In 1997, Wayne formed the Hot Boys along with Juvenile, Turk, and BG, and they released their seminal debut CD, Get It How You Live. The record success earned the young teenagers fans throughout the South and Midwest. He further distinguished himself on the Hot Boys' multi-platinum selling Universal debut, Guerrilla Warfare, which was released in 1998 and was followed by their 2003 release, Let Em Burn. The Hot Boys were an American hip-hop group, active from 1997 to 2001, and collectively made up of the most popular performers in the New Orleans-based record label Cash Money Records. Its members included BG, real name Christopher Dorsey, Juvenile, real name Terrius Gray, Lil Wayne, real name Dwayne Carter, and Turk, real name Tab Virgil. From 1997 to 2001, the Hot Boys were collectively and separately the most popular acts on Cash Money. In 2001, Juvenile, BG, and Turk all left the label, with Lil Wayne continuing as a solo artist. Originally a 1920s New Orleans slang for flashy showboating individuals, the term Hot Boys was adopted by four friends from Magnolia Pictures' VL Valance. Uh, what would probably make his style different from most artists is how he could still be rapping about drugs and stuff, you know, still got money and all that, you know, bitches, all that shit. He brings it and he combines the West Coast with the East Coast, the South Side, all that, and he combines it into one and he makes it his own. When Cash Money's flagship artists were put into a supergroup, Terrence lent the name of his group to the upstart musicians. The rap group Hot Boys was born. After Juve left Cash Money, he feuded with Lil Wayne, who stayed with Cash Money. Ironically, BG would leave as well and feud with Lil Wayne. Lil Wayne made a song called I Miss My Dogs, where he mentions their names in the song. However, BG dissed him about it. Lil Wayne responded with fuck everybody that left Cash Money. Juvenile, BG, Turk, and Manny Fresh will make a reunion somehow of the Hot Boys. BG and Juve already confirmed that they recorded a couple of tracks for the yet untitled album. Turk, however, must serve 500 hours after being released from prison. In 1999, Wayne launched his solo career with the platinum selling The Block Is Hot. Lil Wayne followed up his successful debut with the gold selling album Lights Out in 2000 and 500 Degrees in 2002, an allusion to Juvenile's 400 Degrees. The Block is Hot is the 1990 debut album released on Cash Money Records by the New Orleans rapper Lil Wayne. The RIAA certified a platinum on December 10th, 1999. Wayne did not use any vulgarities on this album except on the song Fuck the World, 
It has a parental advisory lyric because its collaborators, such as the Hot Boys and Big Timers, use several vulgarities. It has a parental advisory label because its collaborators, such as the Hot Boys and Big Timers, use several vulgarities. In Come On, in Wayne's second verse, there is a line that is backmasked. The line, Ready for war, but I ain't the captain of no goddamn tank, was edited because Baby thought it'd be misinterpreted as a beef with no limit. 500 Degrees is a 2002 album released on Cash Money Records by the New Orleans rapper Lil Wayne. The album gets its name because it was released after Juvenile, who had an album called 400 Degrees, had left Cash Money earlier, and Wayne stated he was going to do better than Juvenile. And Wayne stated that he was going to do better than Juvenile. The album would go on to sell 536,000 copies in the U.S. and 900,000 copies worldwide. This is Wayne's lowest album in terms of sales, but is still considered to be a success by reaching gold status with very little promotion or marketing support. In the summer of 2004, Dwayne Carter released The Carter. This album is marked as a personal milestone, as he claimed to have finally perfected his trade. It was also The Carter that finally earned him mass notability outside the South as a talented lyricist. Because at that time, and still today, Southern rappers were stereotyped as having little to no lyrical ability. The Carter sold 878,000 copies in the U.S. and over 1 million copies worldwide. Uh, no, I can't say that because money changed everybody. True, I'm saying money make you, I mean, it depends on how you change. In my situation, money made me a man. The Carter is a 2004 rap album by American rapper Lil Wayne. The bulk of the album was produced by Cash Money Records' former in-house producer Manny Fresh. The Carter preceded Lil Wayne's work in the Drought mixtape and the Prefix mixtape, where he freestyled over the Black album. The Carter peaked at number 5 on the 2004 Billboard 200, and at number 2 on the Billboard Top R&B Hip Hop albums. The album has sold over 1 million units worldwide, and $980,000 in the U.S., and was certified platinum by the RIAA on March 23, 2006. A separate version of the album, the screwed and chopped version, was produced by Michael 5000 Watts of Swisha House. In the 1991 film New Jack City, the Carter is the name of Nino Brown's A Fishing Crack House. In relation to the album, the Carter is interpreted as Lil Wayne's building, crack house, or castle as a physical symbol for Lil Wayne's dynasty. He makes numerous references throughout the Carter, such as the beginning of track six, I Miss My Dogs, where he states, in my building I must keep it real. Carter is also an obvious pun on Lil Wayne's last name. The Carter, Carter is my last name. All right. Lil Wayne, I'm never dropping the Lil because I'm a junior. Mm -hmm. So therefore, if you look at it, the album is Lil Wayne Carter. So that's me. It should also be noted that the Carter was released under the Cash Money record label, and Nino Brown and his clique in New Jack City was known as the CMB, or Cash Money Brothers. On December 6, 2005, Wayne released the Carter II, noticeably producing the album without the prominent beats of Manny Fresh. The Carter II sold more than 238,000 copies the first week of release, debuting at number two on the Billboard Top 200 album charts and has been certified platinum. The Carter II was the fifth album by rap artist Lil Wayne, released in December 2005. Artists making guest appearances on the album include veteran rappers Baby aka Birdman and Corrupt, as well as Young Money members Currency and Nicki. The album went on to sell 980,000 copies in the US, according to Nielsen SoundScan, and 1.5 million units worldwide as of July 2007 making it Lil Wayne's best-selling album to date. This album received mild commercial and critical success. Several music producers contributed to the album, including the Williams Brothers, the heads of Cash Money Records, who claimed executive producer rights. This is the first album from the Cash Money label that does not feature any work from longtime in-house producer Manny Fresh. The first single from the album is Fireman. The video premiered on BET's Access Granted on December 22, 2005. 
The lead single off the album, Fireman, became a hit in the U.S., peaking at number 32 on the Billboard Hot 100 chart. The second single, Grown Man, was solicited to urban radio in January of 2006 in hopes of spreading to the top 40 mainstream and then to the Hot 100, but failed to do so and failed to receive any attention due to lack of promotion and no video. The third single, Hustler Music, received a video and gained minor attention also. Hustler Music reached number 87 on the Billboard Hot 100. Hustler Music is the second single from Lil Wayne's 2005 album, The Carter II. The music video features Hustler Music as well as Money On My Mind, also on The Carter II. Some fans have claimed that a hidden message can be revealed by playing the track backwards. Lil Wayne himself, Lil Wayne himself says towards the end of the track, you're gonna have to rewind this track and make me go back. Such claims have been supported strongly because, despite the obvious distortion with playing a song backwards, many track positions seem to reveal clear statements. While the content of the message is certainly debated, many have suggested that perhaps Lil Wayne is discussing the murder of a girl. Recently, Wayne was recruited by the Boys in the Hood as their fourth member, after young Jeezy left the group to engage in his solo career. Due to scheduling conflicts involving the promotion of the Carter II, he would never be formally named an active member of Boys in the Hood, but maintains a very good relationship with the group, recording new tracks with them very often. Florida rapper Rick Ross was rumored to then replace Wayne and, in essence, Young Jeezy, but he has also denied that he will be an official member of the group. Little Wayne will also be featured on Roman Verone's upcoming mix CD and LP due out soon. In 2006, Lil Wayne released his critically acclaimed sequel to his Dedication mixtape with a DJ drama called Dedication 2. On it, he included an outro attack entitled Georgia Bush, on which he addresses the problems surrounding the government's response to Hurricane Katrina in his native New Orleans, Louisiana, and also places a large amount of blame on President George W. Bush. Hurricane Katrina was the costliest and one of the deadliest hurricanes in the history of the United States. It was the sixth strongest Atlantic hurricane ever recorded, and the third strongest hurricane on record that made landfall. Katrina formed on August 23rd, during the 2005 Atlantic hurricane season, and caused devastation along much of the North Central Gulf Coast. Katrina formed on August 23rd, during the 2005 Atlantic hurricane season, and caused devastation along much of the North Central Gulf Coast. The most severe loss of life and property damage occurred in New Orleans, Louisiana, which flooded as the levee system catastrophically failed, in many cases hours after the storm had moved inland. The hurricane caused severe destruction across the entire Mississippi coast and into Alabama, as far as 100 miles, 160 kilometers, from the storm center. Katrina was the 11th tropical storm, fifth hurricane, third major hurricane, and second Category 5 hurricane of the 2005 Atlantic season. It formed over the Bahamas on August 23, 2005, and crossed southern Florida as a moderate Category 1 hurricane, causing some deaths and flooding there, before strengthening rapidly in the Gulf of Mexico, and becoming one of the strongest hurricanes on record while at sea. The storm weakened before making its second and third landfalls as a Category 3 hurricane. <laughs> Lil Wayne had been linked to female rapper Trina since around the time of the 2005 NBA All-Star Game at the Pepsi Center in Denver. They later recorded a single, Don't Trip, which appeared on her album, Glamorous Life, and appeared on the remix for Remy Ma's Conceited along with Papoose and Jay Mills and Jay Miles. Don't Trip is a single by Miami-based rapper Trina, the first from her album Glamorous Life, distributed by Slip and Slide Records. It features Lil Wayne and was produced by Manny Fresh and reached number 74 on the US R&B Hip Hop Songs chart. That was the last production that Manny Fresh did involving any current Cash Money Records artists before he announced his departure. It is also one of the few he did where he does not contribute any vocals whatsoever. Others include Lil Wayne's The Block Is Hot. Cash Money had entered a bidding battle for the Slip and Slide album, but lost out to Def Jam's bid. Smitty used a sample of that song in his track, Little Haiti, produced by The Runners. 
from his album Life of a Troubled Child. The sample used as the chorus is one of Lil Wayne's lines, I'm up in Little Haiti, I'm blowing on Jamaica. After the song Don't Trip, rumors started flying around about what was going on between the two. There were rumors that the two were dating or even engaged. On a radio interview, Trina said that the relationship was more of a brother-sister relationship. Later, on Victoria's rap basement, Little Wayne said he knew nothing of the rumors. Both would later retract their statements. In an issue of Sister to Sister magazine, Trina would later say that she made a huge understatement at that radio interview, and that he's one of the sweetest people I've ever met, and I have so much love for him. However, she just burst out in huge giggles when further questions were asked, and she said, we're both happy. That's all the world needs to know. In the March 2006 issue of Vibe magazine, Little Wayne said that this relationship was better than his past ones because she's also a rapper, so we understand each other. When asked about the ring, he smiled and said, she just likes rings. I saw a nice one, so I got it for her. Little Wayne and Trina have recently ended their relationship, which was stated by Little Wayne himself on BET's 106 in Park. He would draw some media and fan attention with the leak of a picture of himself with Brian Baby Williams, aka Birdman, kissing. It was explained as a father-son kiss, and Williams later claimed that it was a black variation of mafia affection. Lil Wayne has recently purchased a skybox at the Louisiana Superdome. Lil Wayne has a daughter named Regina Carter. He named her after his stepfather, Reginald Rabbit Carter. Little Wayne has been attending the University of Houston in Houston, Texas since early 2005, where he began studying political science. According to the Cash Money Records website, Wayne has since switched his major to psychology. In the single, Know What I'm Doing, Little Wayne claims to have been shot. During Wayne's childhood, he mistakenly shot himself with his stepfather's gun. On August 14, 2006, Little Wayne was arrested on charges of possession of less than one ounce of marijuana and possession of a controlled substance. Police claim the rapper was in possession of several unlabeled bottles, one containing 60 pills of alprazolam, a generic form of Xanax, that is used to treat anxiety disorders and panic attacks, another containing 59 hydrocodone pills, along with two small burnt joints of marijuana, the report said. On June 3, 2007, Little Wayne told the world about his new group, Badass Grasshoppers, B-A-G for short. It is featured with other Young Money artists. Their first album will be called Put the Party in the Bag. They will soon release their first mixtape called Rap Rock R&B as well, which Wayne said will introduce them to the world. After the retirement of Jay-Z, Little Wayne claimed to be the best rapper alive since the best rapper retired. Even though Jay-Z mildly responded to this claim, Lil Wayne continued to speak on the situation during interviews, such as the one in Complex Magazine. Lil Wayne has made a diss track on the instrumental of Ether by Nas titled Fuck Jay-Z, and has taken numerous subliminal shots at him. He has spoken on Jay's retiring efforts and his dedication to mixtape, and also rapped lyrics to a countless amount of Jay's instrumentals using his rhyme style. But in a recent interview with XXL, Lil Wayne was asked about how he went from being the best rapper alive since Jay-Z retired to being flat out better than Jay. Surprisingly enough, Wheezy offered an apology to Jay for the way that the magazine swayed his comments. And I heard you on a lot of mixtapes, things like that. You know, gotta ask you about that Nas when you dropped on the ether beat. Oh yeah, it was a big misunderstanding. There was no nothing toward Nas, but I... Big I mean, yeah, you fan. said I fucks with Jay Z. Yeah. You didn't say nothing about yeah. Nas, but you I'm said big Jay Z fan. I couldn't let the song, I couldn't even let the song play with me on there and it's saying fuck Jay Z. That wouldn't have been me. Mm -hmm. So I have to say no, nah, I fucks with the homie Jay Z. That's what's so up. Jay Z, no, nah, I fucks with the homie Jay Z. Yeah, so yeah, nah, yes, everything's love. Everything's love. Yeah, you know, but you know, I'm Weezy. That's right. Yeah. Shit, what up? You already knew, man. It's your boy Lil Wayne, better known as Weezy Baby. Please say the baby. If not, don't even say it at all, man. And right here, we live with the homeboy P. Finch. You already know, man. That's what's up. Jay-Z, born Sean Corey Carter on December 4th, 1969 in Brooklyn, New York, 
is an American rapper and current president and CEO of Def Jam and Rockefeller Records. In addition, he co-owns the 4040 Club and is co-owner of the New Jersey Nets NBA team. He is one of the most financially successful American hip-hop artists. Known for his flow and blending of street and popular rap, Jay has become one of the best-selling rappers in the hip-hop industry. He is admired for his ability to compose lyrics without the use of pen and paper. In 2002, Juvenile left Cash Money Records because of a monetary dispute. Lil Wayne released his album 500 Degrees in hopes of doing better than Juvenile, who previously had released 400 Degrees. 500 Degrees went gold but couldn't match 400 Degrees. However, on The Carter, Wayne recorded a song called I Miss My Dogs, where he talks about how much he missed the Hot Boys, Juvenile, BG, and Turk. However, the rest of them dismissed the song as a publicity stunt, and as a result he said, Fuck everybody who left cash money, I ain't got no respect for none of them. Juvenile replied with a diss track, which featured UTP Skip called A Ho, which featured lyrics such as, What kind of nigga kiss a grown man? A ho. What kind of nigga got tears and ain't kill shit? A ho. Which is a reference to the infamous mouth kiss between Wayne and Birdman, as well as the tears tattooed by Wayne's eyes, usually a sign of when the bloods have killed someone, despite Wayne's never having killed anyone. Wayne responded on his dedication mixtape with DJ Drama with a freestyle beat of Oh Boy by Cameron. Juvie responded with the track Say It To Me Now featuring Kango Slim of Partners in Crime and produced by Scott Storch from his album Reality Check, which basically says that while he's still no longer on speaking terms with cash money, he will no longer make any diss tracks directed towards them because he feels it would be a waste of time. There has recently been a track recorded called Do What You Want to Do by Skip and Wacko of UTP. The song features Lil Wayne. Also stated in the song by Wacko, ever since Katrina, Juvie quit so who gives a damn? Verifying that Skip and Wacko were no longer on UTP records. Terrius Gray, born March 25, 1975 in New Orleans, Louisiana. Known by his stage name Juvenile, is an American rapper. At the age of 19, he began recording in a distinctive Southern style with Being Myself, released in 1994 on Warlock Records. The album's hit song, Bounce of the Juvenile, gave name to the Southern sing-songy rap style known as Bounce. In 1997, Soldier Rags, Juvenile's debut with Cash Money Records, was an underground hit. In 1999, Soldier Rags was re-released nationally to ride the wave of popularity Juvenile was enjoying with the release of his major label debut, 400 Degrees, which would spawn his first single, Ha, and its smash single, Back That Ass Up, which eventually became a pop crossover hit in mid-1999. Warlock Records released a remixed version of Being Myself at the same time. After the lackluster reception of the G-Code and Project English in 2001, which contained the hit Set It Off and Mama Got Ass, Juvenile left Cash Money Records, releasing the compilation in 2002 with his new crew and label UTP Records Crew, which Young Buck was signed to as well. Juvenile returned to Cash Money in 2003 to release Juvie the Great. His latest album is Reality Check in 2006, released by UTP Atlantic Records. He has released a total of nine albums. In the summer of 2004, his Juvie the Great album spawned a massive hit called Slow Motion. The song topped Billboard's Hot 100 chart on August 7, 2004, knocking Usher's Confessions Part 2 out of number one after only two weeks. It was the first Hot 100 number one for Juvenile and the late Soldier Slim. The song managed to achieve this feat essentially on the strength of urban radio airplay alone, as it had not yet had massive pop crossover success. In 2001, BG left Cash Money Records because the label did not give him royalties over his deal. BG's beef was primarily with Baby, and his second Chopper City Records album, Life After Cash Money, is full of subliminal disses towards Baby. However, he was still on good terms with Lil Wayne, until Wayne, over disgust from his Hot Boys tribute I Miss My Dogs from the Carter being dismissed as a publicity stunt by Juvenile, made his controversial comment, Fuck everybody who left cash money. I ain't got no respect for none of them. 
In response, BG recorded the diss track Trigger Man, set to the beat of Wayne's Fireman, where he makes several disparaging comments about Wayne, including, First you were Rabbit's son, now you Birdman's JR. How are you going to tell your daughter she got three grandfathers? And, first it was Nivea, now you and Trina engaged. I got three homies that seen me nutted in her face. Wayne was linked with Trina at the time. That track would lead the beef to be extended, as Trina released the mixtape track, What's the Beef? Where along with dissing her own rival Kia, she dissed BG and Gilia the Kid. In that track, she dissed him with the line, use a cash money reject, a ninth ward soldier, keep fucking with that boy, you're gonna end up in a coma. BG responded along with Chopper City boy VL Mike on the mixtape track Cannon Bus Back, where VL Mike dissed Trina saying, Keep Jeezy's name out your mouth, we don't want beef with no bitch. If that nigga ain't satisfying, you can suck my dick. You cross that line, ho. You got problems with me? And if that nigga say my name, he ain't allowed to speak. However, BG reserved his disses for Wayne, merely saying, Got a big old dick peeking out your bitch. Wayne would break up with Trina soon after BG's diss was recorded. However, soon after that, Birdman's cousin, Tamara Williams, was killed in a car accident. BG called in at a radio station to send his condolences, as Tamara had history with BG. Birdman would respond by saying he accepted, and was willing to set aside all the beef, to which BG responded that although he's no longer on cash money, he can still sympathize with Birdman's problems thus ending the long beef between BG and Cash Money Records. However, he still has problems with Lil Wayne, as he described on BET's Rap City, where he says, Who? Oh, Jim Jones Jr.? Haha, <laughs> nah. I know who you're talking about. Now as a rapper, Shoddy holding it down. I can't take nothing from Shoddy. He's one of the hottest lyricists out there. But as a man, nah, he isn't a man. Wayne can't speak for himself. Recently, Lil Wayne and BG have appeared in a photo together. Their beef is believed to be over. Christopher Dorsey, better known as BG, born September 3, 1980 in New Orleans, Louisiana, is an American rapper. BG is short for Baby Gangsta. The youngest artist signed to Cash Money Records at that time, Dorsey, given the stage name BG, released his debut LP with Lil Wayne under the title The BGs. In addition, 50 Cent mentioned UTP several times on the track Bloodhound with Young Buck, as Buck was, at the time the track was recorded, still a member of UTP. UTP is preparing to release their second album entitled Back Like We Left Something. The first single off the album is called Damn. UTP refers to the Uptown projects of Magnolia, Melfa Mine, and Calliope, as well as the Uptown Hoods considered a ward. However, the only artists left on UTP now, besides Juvenile, are Red Eyes and Big Zeus, as Wacko and Skip recently left the label. They have recorded a single of their own called Do What You Wanna Do, the first from their upcoming album Back Like We Left Something, which features UTP rival Lil Wayne. On this track, one of Wacko's lines is, After Katrina, Juvie quit, so who gives a damn? UTP has released the radio edit of Damn Nigga Damn, now called Damn, which features Juvenile. Though UTP has released the radio edit of Damn Nigga Damn, now called Damn, which features Juvenile and appears to be the first single off the album. Money, money, money. Get a dollar in the clip, Wheezy baby, that crack homeboy, get your fix. Got money out the ass, no homo, but I'm rich. About to go get surgery and put some dangers in my wrist, yes. Why? Cause little daddy is a trip. I'm a trip to Japan to buy some brand new shh. 900 to a grand, get you 28 grams. If we talking about bricks, I'm the interstate man. The women say damn, them dudes don't say a damn thing. Why? Cause that shoddy make them bounce like a bed spring. Walk in a thin line, gotta defend mine, and with no pen, I'm sorta like a bomb. Boom. Young tune, that's what my people call me, 50,000 for this cross, trying to keep the reaper off me. Drink a lot of syrup, so they say I'm sleepwalking. Big money for the grill, so we never cheap talking. Keep talking, that thing leap off the hip and keep sparking, pap, pap, sleep softly. 
nap, 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 sack three, four, just like whatever, whenever, man, just don't be the target. I'm from that New Orleans weather, man, just don't be retarded. We done lost everything, homie, just don't be a bargain. Yeah. RealWayne.com, just log in. Put a pillow under her knees and keep her jaws in. All in your girl mouth, use it like a toilet. They use it like a baller, so the young boy ballin'. Full singles, Make It Rain, and You received heavy airplay. Tony Yayo stated in an interview, I don't believe in Cameron. I don't believe in Jim Jones. I don't believe in Baby. I don't believe in Lil Wayne. I don't believe in game, I don't believe in Fat Joe. Lil Wayne responded in an interview. Fuck Tony Yayo. He's a pussy ass nigga. This bitch ass busta is nothing but a dick rider. Fuck him. Fuck Fitty, fuck cheap ass buck, and fuck those who hate on me. Gotta be like my nigga from Shreveport, Louisiana. Act like you know. David Darnell Brown, born March 15th, 1981. Better known as Young Buck. Is an American rapper who is a member of the rap group G-Unit. G-Unit was founded with childhood friends Lloyd Banks, 50 Cent, and Tony Yayo decided to make a group with each other. They met Young Buck when Cash Money Records artists came to New York, and 50 Cent heard Young Buck rapping. After 50 Cent signed his contract with Aftermath Entertainment, Young Buck joined the group. 50 Cent gave Young Buck a feature on his successful debut album, Get Rich or Die Tryin', on the track Bloodhound. After this, he appeared on G-Unit's debut album, Beg For Mercy, which went on to be certified two times platinum. Marvin Bernard, born March 31, 1978 in Queens, New York. Better known by his stage name Tony Yayo, is an American rapper and part of the rap group G-Unit. On December 31, 2002, nearly a year before the release of G-Unit's most anticipated album, Beg For Mercy, Tony Yayo was arrested along with 50 Cent on weapons possession charges. During a background check, police discovered Yayo had an outstanding warrant for a previous weapons possession charge. In early 2003, he was sentenced for bail jumping and would remain in jail until the beginning of 2004. As a result, he was unable to record for the album and was therefore only featured on two tracks that had been recorded before he was arrested. The Carter 3 is the sixth studio album by rapper Lil Wayne. The album will be released on December 18th, 2007. Lil Wayne stated in XXL Magazine, the producers will include Kanye West, Scott Storch, The Runners, Timberland, and Will I Am. I know everybody looking for for the Carter 3 and you heard that the disc got leaked and all that, so what uh, you will be receiving for the Carter 3 is a new mixtape by me with all the leaked songs and it's free and I'm gonna call it the leak and you can have it. You dig and I might give you some intros and outros and you know. It's only for y'all, y'all got me. I'll give it to you red handed. I must take better care of my things and I will. Motherfuckers, I can't feel my face album we working on the paperwork right now. Me and Joel Santana be coming out biatch. New single by the end of this month. How about that? Yeah. And that that's my I look brother. Shit. What's up, Sky? Ma just had a little girl in that sky. She's beautiful. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And, um, you dig? <laughs> so, Carter 3 should be coming to y'all like 2008, real talk. This year, I can't feel my face. Shit, yeah, dig. And, um, my click right here Streets, Mac, Lil Boo. We got Dizzy still rocking, Spitter coming, see how Spitter still rocking, uh, you know a couple of others, man, but if you're down, you're down, if you're not, you're not, we hot. We got something coming out, you dig, and it's called Badass Grasshopper, so you know what I mean, it's a band, we got the, our first album, is gonna be called, I mean, you know, the, the initials is Party, and the, uh, it's Bag, B-A-G, Badass Grasshopper, first album, you dig, is gonna be called, um, mm -mm. The first album is gonna be called, yeah, my bad, put the party in the bag, but the first single is gonna be called Rap, Rock, R&B. Yeah, I think we might just, you know what I think we're gonna do? I changed that, we're gonna still do a song, that about, we're gonna do a, a mixtape, for bad, a badass grasshopper mixtape called Rap, Rock, and R&B to introduce them to what we doing so that we could try to prepare them for what we going to do because we don't care if they prepare them not because we know we coming at them. But anyway, you know, shout out to all my people in the game. 
everybody, all my people, I love all y'all, man. And um, Holly Bro 17, New Orleans 504 305. You did. Shout out DJ Cali, man, Big D, everybody out there, man. BB Michael, man, chill out, boy. Crazy ass. <laughs> and um, I'm single, ladies. You uh, dig? Yeah, I'm single. Uh, all the rumors and am I with this one? Or am I with that one? No. Oh, I'm chilling, eating dominoes. I'm single. It's me and my money. Me and my money and my daughter. She's eight years old. If she don't approve of you, you're not stepping in. And she haven't approved people in years. Shout out to the Birdman. We about to shoot the first single off the next Birdman album. It's called Pop Bottles. Of course, I wrote the treatment. This is my man, you. <laughs> Yiddy. We just got the liquor deal. All right. Haven't named it. It's going to be a champagne, not a liquor. Little Wayne also stated that he'll be working with former Cash Money Records producer Manny Fresh. Scratch Magazine confirmed that Dr. Dre will also be working on the album. In an interview with HipHopCanada.com, Solitaire of the Black Jays stated that he and Cypher Sounds produced a track for Lil Wayne's new project, possibly referring to the Carter Three. The runners have stated that they have produced three tracks for the Carter Three. Collaborators are confirmed to include Birdman, Enrique Iglesias, Jim Jones, Jules Santana, Justin Timberlake, Kanye West, The Game, and more. The album was named the number one most anticipated album of 2007 by XXL. After the album leaked to the internet in mid-2007, Lil Wayne decided to use the leaked tracks and made a mixtape out of them titled The Leak. When questioned about the unplanned album leak, Lil Wayne said, We have to find out exactly what's out there. I'll probably just collect all the songs that's floating around and make my own mixtape called The Leak since people want the music so bad. To tell you the truth though, the song I did with Kanye West out there, of course you want to save that for your album, but the rest of them songs probably wouldn't have made the album. There's a song floating around that says, produced by Timberland. Tim didn't produce that record though. MTV reported that Wyclef John worked on a couple of tracks for the album. MTV also reported that a track featuring Justin Timberlake, Nelly Furtado and Timberland is likely to appear on the album. HipHopDX.com reported the album will be featuring a diss track titled Gossip, which is indirectly aimed at 50 Cent. The song was released sometime between August and September of 2007. Dedication 3 is an album by Lil Wayne and DJ Drama. It is the third installment in the Dedication series. It's an upcoming compilation album along with Cash Money and Young Money artists. Jay Kraft, the newest artist on the label, will also be featured on this album. Wayne claimed in a recent interview that due to the popularity of the Dedication mixtapes, the next Dedication will be an official album which is due out in 2008. Lil Wayne is not only a rapper, but has dabbled in movies too as an actor. In the film Who's Your Caddy, Lil Wayne is playing the role of himself while Big Boy is shooting a music video on the local golf course. Who's Your Caddy was released in July of 2007. It starred Big Boy from Outkast and was about a superstar rap mogul, C-No, played by Big Boy, who runs into fierce opposition when he tries to join the super stuffy Carolina Pines Golf and Country Club. Undeterred, C-No gets the brilliant idea to buy the land adjacent to the golf club's 17th hole, which he cleverly leverages to gain membership. C-Note's crew wrecks havoc as they bring their larger-than-life style to the club. Cash Money Records founder and CEO Brian Baby Williams and his star artist Lil Wayne have signed on to star in a new independent movie titled Cutthroat City, one of several films in the works that centered on Hurricane Katrina and its aftermath. The story, set in the Big Easy, follows a heist that begins in the decimated Lower Ninth Ward and will touch on the government's neglect of the area. Cutthroat City is scheduled to be released in the first quarter of 2008. Ballers is a comedy set in the world of pro basketball. Due to a slow production and lack of time, the film's release date has been rumored to be the summer of 2008. It features rappers like T.I., Lil Wayne, Ludacris, and 50 Cent. In fall 2007, when then the second season of The Boondocks airs, 
Little Wayne's role as Huey and Riley's cousin from New Orleans will begin. Baller Blockin', made in 2000, was set in New Orleans' Third Ward. The movie was based on the album of the same name. The Cash Money Millionaires included whatever rappers happened to rap for Cash Money Records at the given moment. During the label's initial breakthrough in Golden Era, the group included Baby, Manny Fresh, Juvenile, BG, Turk, and Lil Wayne. The group issued the Baller Blockin' Collection in 2000, which also included contributions from some of the group's inspirations, namely 8-Ball MJG, E-40, Nas, and Rappin' Forte. The album and the movie were released at the same time. So whether it be rapping or acting, from his rise and his falls, Lil Wayne has come a long way and still continues to make things happen. Look out for this hot boy as he's still on fire. 